Hi, I'm uh, Jeff Gordon. I'm here today talking about the Snapdragon 675, which was just announced. The 675 is our newest entry in the 600 series. And for the 675, we're talking across three primary consumer use cases, gaming, camera, and AI. On the gaming side, we are working with many of the top game publishers around the world to optimize select games on 675. What this optimization does is it makes the games run faster and smoother. Uh, there's one thing we're talking about today which is called uh, reducing the number of janks within the game itself. So the game will run a lot steadier versus the same game that does not have this uh, jank reducing scheme in place. Uh, on, the, um, now on the gaming side, we actually work across our distributed compute platform, which means that we're w working with both the GPU, the CPU, and the DSP in order to get the smoothest and best gaming experience possible. We're also obviously pairing that with our acu acoustic audio. And of course, when you're talking about online gaming, we have our X12 modem and our Wi-Fi that actually helps you play games uh, quick and smooth, even on those connections. On the camera side, we brought some exciting new features into our 600 tier. One of the really cool ones that we introduced today is limitless slow-mo at 480 frames per second. So what this means is essentially for the first time outside of our premium tier, you are able to take these super slow-mo videos. Uh, this is something that you won't necessarily even see on a lot of other flagship devices, and you'll be seeing those rolling out uh, at some point on our 675 platform. We also support three cameras in the front and three cameras in the back, and this helps enable use cases like uh, 5x optical zoom, we have super wide angle support, and then you can do other things as far as with the cameras themselves in the front and the back, including face unlock. We have uh, extreme selfies. We have uh, the bokeh or portrait mode experience, and those are all supported on our 675. And finally, for AI, again, with AI, we are working on that distributed compute model, and so we have our CPU, our DSP, and our GPU all taking on the right parts of the AI process in order to most efficiently process the AI uh, systems going on. So for instance, we talked about our AI style transfer in real time. What we, uh, what we can do with that is you can actually take uh, in real time, look at your phone, and you can actually show the, um, the uh, a stylized uh, augmentation of the actual screen itself. So you can look at a Van Gogh type screen or different kind of optical uh, enhancements on those themselves. And there are a lot of other things, of course, you can do on the AI side, including uh, on the audio side. There's security features. We also tie into camera and gaming on our AI side as well. So that's the main thing we're talking about with our new Snapdragon 675. It also supports a bunch of other things uh, that we're, we don't have time to talk about as much, but we have our Quick Charge 4 Plus support. Uh, we have, um, I mentioned the acoustic audio. Uh, we have, uh, Lots of, other, lots of other enhancements to our 675 that people, consumers can look forward to very soon. This is the Qualcomm reference design based on our Snapdragon 675 mobile platform. What we do with these reference designs is we basically put in there uh, all of the, or most of the software, most of the hardware enhancements that are featured in the product itself so that we can ourselves work with our uh, OEM partners in order to optimize how these devices will work when they are in the marketplace themselves. So this device here itself, just like the Snapdragon 675, supports a full HD display, full HD plus actually. Uh, it has our acoustic audio, three mic support. It also has Quick Charge 4 Plus built in. And as you can see, it's actually designed very much like your typical Android smartphone. And so it, it pretty much does everything there. It has access obviously to the Play Store. It's got our camera features and uh, a lot of other enhancements built in here in order, again, so that we can both work with the OEMs and show off the abilities of the product itself when we're uh, announcing it and before the products actually come into marketplace. So, the, so just like with the Snapdragon 675, this device itself uh, does support the 3 plus 3 camera configuration. On this particular hardware, though, we have, we're actually showing two cameras in the back, oh, as well as I should point out a fingerprint sensor. And it actually has a nice design as well. It actually has a ceramic back. So we're actually going a little more premium on our reference designs here. Uh, it has a, a single camera up front and also some sensors as well uh, to obviously enable some of the features we had talked about as including face unlock, 
and uh, bokeh, things like that.